Today I am going to solve exam style questions of chapter number 2. In question number 1 it is said that a company owns a number of vending machines. Data is sent from each of these machines at the end of the day. The data contains amount of money taken, products sold and any error, error conditions or reports are sent. The company is using two error checking methods. One is echo checking other one, the, and the other one is automated repeat requests. Uh, in part 1 you have to tell how echo check works. Explain whether it is a suitable error checking method or not. Uh, I have taken the answer from your book where echo check is explained. In the topic of echo check I have taken these points of summary uh, of echo check. Uh, let me uh, explain the answer to you. Let me explain the process of echo check to you. The sender sends his copy, uh, or copy of data to the receiver. Uh, uh, the receiver just keeps a copy of the data and sends back the co copy of the same data to the sender once again. Now the sender has two copies one a copy of its own that was the sent copy and the one copy that he has just received now the sender will compare his own both copies together if they are the same the sender will send an acknowledgement to the receiver that okay the copy that you have with you is fine it is okay you should keep working with it so uh, this is how echo check works but as you can see that this method is not a very efficient one because in this method uh, the sender is uh, has a lot of work to do it has to send the same copy to the receiver it has to receive the same copy and it has to compare these two copies together and there is double load in, um, and load of traffic on the internet um, also so um, we would say that this is not a very reliable method um, if two sets of data are different uh, it is not known whether the uh, error occurred, occurred while sending of data or while receiving, receiving of data. The second thing that you need to explain is how, how describe how automated repeat request works. Uh, you, uh, I have taken its answer from the book where the whole process of automated repeat request is explained. Basically, uh, automated repeat, uh, these are the points, this is the summary of ARQ, uh, actually basically with, uh, with the whole data, there are two things uh, are attached with the whole data, one is acknowledgement and the other one is timeout. So it, is, it sends one error detection code along with, um, to the receiver along with the whole data. The receiver uses that code to check if the data is correct or not. If the receiver finds it correct, it sends an acknowledgement back to the sender that okay, my data is correct. If the uh, In the meanwhile, the sender keeps on checking time. If that acknowledgement is not sent on time and the time becomes out, the sender sends one more copy of the same data again to the receiver because of the timeout condition so acknowledgement and timeout are the two conditions which are basically the parts of the automated repeat request now uh, let's uh, move on to the next question the next question in part b you have to tell uh, that uh, you have to tell three differences between checksum and check digit as you can see it from your book that in checksum a whole block of data is considered every byte of data is converted into dendry form and some sort of formula or algorithm is applied to the block of data and which is sent uh, over the internet why in check digit there is uh, mostly uh, there is uh, you have barcodes on products or ISBN numbers um, these uh, numbers have a last digit attached to them which is known as a check digit, which is not on any block of data. So you are supposed to tell three differences. The first difference is this, that uh, uh, check the check sum is checking an uh, error during the data transmission uh, when, when the data is traveling along the internet. The, the error, uh, while in check digit, the error occurs in data entry, at the time of data entry. 
it might be misspelled it might be mis mis it might be mistyped or miscanned uh, some sort of or any other sort of mistake uh, uh, the second difference is this that uh, an additional value is calculated from the whole block while in check digit and in checksum an additional value is attached to the whole block while in check digit uh, a final digit is added to one code only not the whole block the third difference is this that in checksum the data is sent in blocks while in check digits the data is sent in the form of codes not in blocks so this was question number one of your exam style questions next time i'll solve question number two Thank you.